was your one day dream back in the day? My one day dream back in the day, I had a few, but the major one was always to be a musician. I've always wanted to be able to get on stage and perform music that I was writing myself, and it took a while, but you know, doing it with my brothers has probably been the greatest blessing. My one day dream was to be the first pick in the NBA draft, and uh, I did it. And what is your one day dream now? Because you gotta keep dreaming. Oh, I always dream. I dream big. You know, actually in my room, I have all my goals and dreams written down, and I put it on my mirror so I can see it every morning I wake up. So my dream now, my goal, is to win the championship. I go to the gym and I work as hard as I can to reach that goal. I just love having fans come up to me at meet and greets or whenever I get to meet them saying, like, your music really helped me. So that's just what keeps me going. My biggest dream ever would be to make it to the Grammys one day. I just think it would be really, really awesome if I ever got the chance to either perform or anything. But that's my biggest dream. Just always believe in yourself. And if you stay true to who you are and see it, you can achieve it. Something I tell a lot of young artists is just say yes to everything. You know, Unless it's absolutely crazy or uncomfortable, you should try to get out there and practice and you never know who's going to be in the audience that, that might say, you know what, I want to sign these guys. Or, I would love to manage them, and, and so that kind of happened for us. I can tell you this, my whole life people have always told me that I, I can't do this, I can't do that, you weren't going to make it to the NBA. Just every little thing, they, they found a way to make it negative. And I took all that negative energy and then I balled it up into a big ball. And I said, you know what, I'm going to throw this away and everything's going to be positive. And that's what I did. What are you most looking forward to? as being a mentor? I mean, I just think being a part of, you know, whoever wins this process. I always love that. It's a journey, you know, from the starting point to when you set your dream or and your goal to then actually achieving it. And if I can be a part of that, I think that's really amazing. The moment that my dream came true, they were honoring Paul McCartney at the White House, and I was able to perform a Beatles song with my brothers in front, inches in front of President Obama, and. Paul McCartney, and it's just kind of a surreal moment, and, and also being able to just travel the world, you know, almost every year and play music for fans all across the world. I would say stay strong, that's the first thing, and you might not see success right away, but if you stick with it, if you stay strong, and you don't let anybody tell you that you're going to fail, then you're going to be great.